Hello, my beauties, my beautiful warriors. I love it. Do you guys love that? Uh, water, you guys. And I put um, ionic minerals in it. Water is a great way, it's a great carrier for uh, vitamins and supplements. Whew. Okay, you guys. Today's workout was a little bit different. Uh, yesterday I did a little better, um, but I did. I, I was stronger on my extensions, my hamstring curl. I w didn't do as well today on the leg sled, and um, my cardio, I couldn't do at 3.0. I was at 2.8, but 2.5 I was a little bit more comfortable. I tried to push that a little bit, but I still got my mile in in 27 minutes. So remember, been doing a mile. It was like taking me like 35 minutes. Yesterday I got it in, in a little bit faster, but you're gonna have days when I've had three heavy lifting days. So it's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna. You're gonna have your third and fourth day. I've got one more heavy day of training tomorrow. I'm gonna do four days in a row. Of really heavy training and then I'm gonna take um, I might take the fifth day off and just do a really nice long power hike um, in Sabino Canyon or I'll do in in one of in one of the canyons I'll do a nice really long hike um, just to kind of see where where I am there so you guys we are now on our second uh, our uh, second vlog on gratitude so exciting hopefully you guys watched my first one where we discussed the amazing attributes of gratitude on your sleep, on your digestion, on your hormones, um, on your immune system. So being in that state of gratitude is just really, really healthy. It's so, um, gosh, I have to have some more water. It's so hot here, you guys. It's like 112, I think, today. It's so funny, you guys, last night, my husband and I went out for a drive. We put all, the, we piled the dogs in the car and we'll go for a nice little drive. We try to see the sunset every night. I think he broke his toe in his uh, martial arts class. He was doing, a, he was, uh, um, he was boxing. He was in one of the, one of his, uh, I think he was taking uh, Muay Thai. Anyway, um, Okay, here we go. Good. I like to wait. I'm like very, very, I'd rather be very conservative than risky when it comes to driving. I'm a conservative driver. Anyway, um, so we were out for a drive last night and we were like, gosh, it feels so cool. And uh, it was 106. <laughs> like, wow, it's cooling down. <sighs> it's funny. I guess in life, everything is like relative. You know what I mean? So anyway, drink your water, you guys. Drink, drink, drink your water. So we're going to do the same thing in this vlog, too. I want you guys to uh, stipulate down below your, uh, your experience and... Um, you're just being grateful. Let's just put some, let's just put some, uh, let's put some, uh, gratitude. Um, let's put some things down that you are grateful for in the comment section. So let's, let's put this into effect. I want, I want the next couple days for us to, to put this in effect. So the second component of, uh, gratitude that I want to, uh, talk to you guys about is your brain is your brain. So, you know, I am super passionate about brain fitness and brain health because I was in a really bad accident where I um, fractured C1, C2, and C3 
tripped with a brainstem sit and uh, it was a gnarly, gnarly accident, but surrounded by just tons and tons of miracles. Um, so anyway, with that accident, I lost my short-term memory. I also lost the ability to sit down and be able to just like read books. I used to like literally, I used to read, 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 read all the time. Now it just takes a lot of effort. If I read between one and three or four or five sentences, I have to read it over again and over again and over again. It really takes a lot out of me when I'm reading. I have to really focus and then I just, I can't read for very long. So that's an area that is definitely challenging to me. So when I was reading this research on gratitude and how it helps the brain, I was like super jazzed. Because when you're in this state of gratitude, uh, your brain functions differently. It'll start to process things differently. Which isn't that cool. I mean, I just think that's just, uh, I think that's really, really awesome. Um, and what it does is when you're in that state of appreciation and you're in that state a lot and you train your body in the state of appreciation. So, you know, like you're grateful. Like for me, I pray before my meals um, and I try to be in a, I try to do little gratitude uh exercises before I sleep and like when I wake up in the morning and my husband he's a sweetheart he's always he's very very grateful for everything in life and uh, we're always saying to each other I'm so lucky I have you I'm so lucky we have this house I'm so you know I'm 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 just in you know just such a state of happiness and I'm so happy that you know, we have this great house, or I'm so happy that we have this great car. You know, my car is like 17 years old, but I'm in like a total state of gratitude uh, for my car. I think I'm gonna park underneath this like little tree here. It's really not much of a tree, but it's a it's little better than nothing. It's so funny. It's literally like tiny, tiny little tree, but I will take you little tiny tree even if I've got to walk a long way. It's not a lot of shade, but at least it's kind of something. Um, but when you're in, you guys, when you're in this state of gratitude, what it allows is your, because you're training it so much by saying, you know, I'm thankful, I'm thankful for this. Your body's almost in a decelerated space um, and your brain is able to process things. So for example, if, you know, if you're kind of going along life and you're just someone that's really like in this state of gratitude and you practice gratitude every day and um, something kind of traumatic happens, your emotional resilience, like emotional IQ, as far as your, your brain processing things, is in a completely different state if you are someone that... Uh, rather than someone who's got a negative thought process, right? So when things go down because they do everybody has stuff that that happens to them right we're not immune you're just able to handle that uh that that those emotional things with a lot more resilience because you are practicing the state of gratitude so um the other thing is too is it helps uh with your brain with stress so when you're in the state of gratitude your cortisol levels are lower and um, you want to have those cortisol levels lower because the cortisol is what uh, allows your body to store fat. Um, so you don't want you don't want to have uh, spiked uh, cortisol levels. So what's nice about cortisol is a stressor hormone too. It's also what allows your body to interpret uh, you know fight or flight. So what's really nice about having the state of gratitude is that again your cortisol levels and your stress levels are going to be lower in a patient or in an individual uh, whose uh, gratitude levels are really 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 high um, the other thing is um, that you know along with emotional resilience and along with uh, with strengthening the neural connections in your brain it also strengthens having being in a state of gratitude also strengthens your personal relationships so 
um, just think about that. this. Think about this. If you're in a state of really appreciating your mom, your sister, your brother, your husband, your boyfriend, your clients, your life, you're just in that state when you open the door and you are in connection with them, you will be amazed how your conversations go. Like with my mom, my mom is like a pain in the gazunga sometimes. But what I do before I call her every single time is I put my mindset in a state of gratitude. So when she answers her phone, because she never calls me, I always have to call her. When she answers the phone, I'm like, hey mom, how are you? How are you doing? Um, like I'm in that, and it's not fake. It's like I put myself and I put my physiology in that space of gratitude. I'm in such a space of gratitude for my mother. I wouldn't have my fight if it wasn't for her. I wouldn't have my passion if it wasn't for her. I wouldn't have my directness if it wasn't for her. I wouldn't have, there's so many things that my mother gave me. And so what I do is I just kind of call on those before I'll pick up the phone and call her. And, um, you know, there again, though, someone is doing things that are dangerous to you or harmful to you, you have to set healthy boundaries within yourself. And so, like, for me, uh, my mother is, like, the one person that can get me literally from zero to 100. And if I'm with her personally, she can, in a look, she can get me there or in a conversation, she can get me there really, really fast. And so what I've been working on in my life as an adult is how do I, how do I create an environment of deceleration? And for me, what I always tell her is I always say, you know what, mother, I love you. And you know, what you're saying right now is like, I just, I, I'm not understanding it. So I'm just going to need to take a step back so that I can have a little time to reflect on this. But I know your intentions are good. I know that you're good. I mean, I love you and I know that, I know that they're good. So anyway, listen, I got to run, but I love you and let's talk soon. And what I do is I don't play games. I will call her the next day and we kind of start fresh. And it's like, it's really neat when you start fresh in a new conversation, again, starting the conversation with gratitude, it's amazing what results you will get from your from, from, from the other person. So just remember, this state of gratitude is one of these things. It's like you're strengthening your relationships. Your emotional uh, acuity is greater. Your neural connections, your brain connections are better. Your ability to heal is better. Your ability to process things. Your ability to sleep better. Your ability to digest food is better. All of these things work in coordination with gratitude. So um, I want it. I want us to really, you know, I want us to really practice gratitude. So in the comments below, I want you to let me know what are what's one thing that you're grateful for. Just keep it really easy breezy. And then what you want to start to do is every day. Uh, I like to do gratitude before I eat. I like to do gratitude in the morning. And I like to do gratitude at night. And I don't keep it like serious, heavy duty. You've got to list a hundred and two every day. No, you know, just. The more you practice it, the more you keep it easy breezy. When you're driving, oh gosh, isn't it so pretty? The clouds are so pretty. I'm so I am so appreciative of that cloud right there. I'm so appreciative that the sun is out, or I'm so appreciative for air conditioning, or I'm so appreciative for water. You know, just there's so many things that you can be in the state of gratitude for. And if you're like Kita, you don't understand. My life sucks right now. There's so much going on. Let me tell you, if you can breathe. If you can see color, if you can hear, if you can move your mouth, if you have your teeth, you know, if you have skin, if you have, you know, the ability to walk, to talk, to move, all of these things, these are all blessings. And I'm not being Pollyanna here. I mean, these are blessings. I'm, I'm realizing in my personal life, just the ability to walk, the ability to walk without being in pain. Uh, it seems pretty easy. I just see people walking all around everywhere and I'm just like one lady I saw her walking She's like had this scar and I just wanted to go. Oh, I didn't want to be like a weirdo But I kind of wanted to say oh gosh, you could walk look how beautifully you're walking today um, But I don't want to be that like weirdo that does that but if you watch my channel and you're a friend of mine You're very familiar with that's kind of the way I handle things in fact, you know what? It was really funny. I had this bless her heart I this Jewish client a couple years ago and she was so sweet in fact I know all my Jewish terms because of her um, and I will always have fun fun memories of her um, but one of the things she used to always have the worst attitude she hated working out she didn't want to work out she she just didn't like anything about training and as a personal trainer it's like working with clients it's like 
you know, it's kind of like a give and take. It's such a, symb a symbiotic relationship. It's like you're in their space, you're fighting for them, you're cheering for them. And sometimes it can take its toll, especially if I used to work, like I used to do like six, eight, 10 clients in a day. Our clients would be bam, 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 bam. And every single client I would generate energy and, and enthusiasm and excitement for every client I would have. And she would come in and every time.